All right, and we're live. Welcome, everyone. Going to get the uh, founders call going here. Give me, give me a second as I get into it. I uh, I have had a one hell of a frustrating day. Got all my stuff hacked. It's been an absolute nightmare, and every little tiny thing that I try and do is just a massive process. For instance, streaming on YouTube. Got everything set up, tried to stream, had to quit quit and reopen and restart everything to link my YouTube. Then once that happened, had to quit and reopen everything after I got everything set back up just to get to be able to screen share on Google Meets. Oh, there's permissions needed for this, that, and everything. It's just been an absolute nightmare. But anyway... Woe is me, first world problems. I've got something that can be hacked. Anyway, God, that was a an almighty sad way to start this. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the tempo up a little bit. Um I'm excited about this week. Uh, I'm excited about this week's founders call because we've got a lot happening uh and we've got a lot coming up in this next in these next few weeks, honestly. Um you're gonna be hearing I, I presume a lot less from us day to day, uh, but that's because these next few weeks are going to be wild um, in in just how much we have going on and, and so much is 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 coming to fruition. So it's very exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm actually, I'm doing a founders call today. Uh, and I'm doing it today instead of tomorrow because I've got a four-day conference starting tomorrow. So uh, I want to get this in, get it recorded, and get it out there for you guys to to see uh, the past seven days. Um, you know, so that so that we're not missing anything. So let's get started. We're going to go over a bunch. Don't need to waste any time on that. Let's start with marketing. Uh, marketing, as you guys have probably seen, we have been shadow banned and we've been battling through a shadow ban the last two to three weeks um, across both YouTube and TikTok. It's been very frustrating, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, even still, we have gained eight subscribers in the last seven days, um, which is great. Uh, we're a little bit less in watch time and a little bit less or 50% less in, in views the previous seven days. But again, that is a okay. We are still, I mean, still we're doing one and a half thousand views and almost 30 hours of watch time plus eight subscribers uh, in seven days. So it's not a bad week, um, you know, especially for, for guys who are just, just kicking things into gear uh, and, and, and learning this whole content game and, and learning the ropes of this. So um you know, very, very excited about that. Uh, we have, we're, it is looking like we're starting to see the other side of the shadow ban. Um, our views are starting to pick up a little bit um, and, and actually get shown. And I actually had uh, one or two of our videos pop up on our uh, search and for you pages. So that's something that we haven't even been able to find our own content um, personally for, for, for a while. So it's been very frustrating. But it is what it is, and we're we're pushing through. Twitter, I mean, sorry, uh, TikTok has pushed uh, in a big way. We're up a hundred percent video views, a hundred and eighty percent reached audience, uh, and we're up fifty percent in profile views, which is fantastic. As you can see, our views are hitting back up over one and two hundred. Uh, with the shadow ban, we were seeing less than tw well, less than fifty views per video. Which again, very frustrating, but it's exciting that we're starting to come to the other side of that, and the and the views are starting to pick back up again, which is good. We're also expect we're also trialing a lot of things, so um, you know we're not able to push out as much content as we were just because we were using automation software to be able to to put out the sheer amount of content we were. Um, I mean, there was over a hundred pieces of content getting put out per week. It's ridiculous, and. Um, yeah, I think that was what was actually shadow banning us was the automation that we had of going. So we're actually doing all of that. I say we, Florian is doing all of that manually now. So there'll be less content uploaded, but hopefully, um, you know, it'll, it'll keep us from being shadow banned and, and allow us to, to have more focus on the content we're actually sharing. This week, content, uh, podcast number three will be dropping. Uh, I do apologize for the quality of those podcasts. The last two weeks are in the uploads. Uh, what I said to Florian, I'll tell you guys, is I, after recording, I got way too excited to send them to Florian, and I 
literally hopped off the podcast and pressed upload straight to YouTube, straight to Twitter. Um, so there was no intro, no outro, no music, no taglines or, or, or captions or anything. It was just, I just was so excited to get it out there. So I've, uh, I am pulling back a little bit and I said, I apologize Florian for stepping on your toes. I got a little bit too excited. Uh, I'm, I'm going to let you handle these podcasts now, uh, the uploads and everything. So, uh, we will see episode number three dropping this week. Um, and then, as I said before, the shadow banning starting to we're starting to come out to the other side of that. Uh, weekly content progression sessions we've been having have been vital. Uh, it's been really incredible the amount of progress we've made, uh, even just in the last week with sitting down and actually pulling apart everything we're doing and, and trying to, to work on things uh, piece by piece. Uh, and then the other thing is, uh, I'm sure that uh, a lot of you guys would have already saw, but I uh, woke up this morning to uh, a ton of my stuff hacked, uh, which was very frustrating um, and has been very inconvenient um, throughout the day. But I want to assure you guys that uh, no Nova House stuff has been uh, compromised at all. It is all completely separate from my personal life, um, separate emails, separate logins, separate accounts, separate everything. So um, although it has been a massive uh, inconvenience for me and uh, pushed me to my breaking point today, uh, and I did lose some things today that you know, I've spent the last 10, 11, 12 years building, um, which is extraordinarily frustrating. But it is what it is. That's life. Could always be worse. Uh, but rest assured, nothing to do with the Nova House has been compromised and all is completely separate. A OK. Um, this is our latest uh, podcast, uh, sorry, our latest vlog that just got uploaded by Florian. Uh, one thing that you will notice is we are going to start, I keep saying we, Florian, um, I'm trying to take his credit, but it's, 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 it's I'm an idiot. Uh, it's, I take no credit. Florian's Florian has all the credit here. Uh, Florian's been working and will continue to work more and more on thumbnails each week. We're realizing that our content is pretty good, uh, but the, the thumbnails is our letdown and, and we have no click-through rate, meaning there's a lot of people seeing our thumbnails, but almost no one's clicking on them to actually view the content. Uh, but then those who are clicking on the content to watch it usually stay for over 50% of the video, which is an unbelievable retention rate that I've never seen before. The problem is no one's clicking. So we need to focus a ton of our attention on these thumbnails and getting people to click. Uh, and that's what we're working on uh, a little bit lately. Property development. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kick things off here. All right. I'm going to kick things off with something that is so exciting. We have just got a 3D walkthrough tour of Canopy Station in Costa Rica done. We've got, I'm talking professional void, voice artists, um, which by the way, I was against Martin push through with that one. Uh, and it actually turned out incredible. Uh, but I was, I was against that one. We had, um, you know, we've got graphic designers working on a bunch of things, but uh, you know, this is what we have come up with. Florian edited this from the architects. We've had voiceovers done. And this is the official 3D tour of Canopy Station. Uh, and then mind you, it only shows around 70 to 80% of the property. There is still multiple pieces of the property that this doesn't even show. Uh, we'll just compress for time. So I'm going to show it to you guys now. From the hills of Manuel Antonio, overlooking the coastline of Costa Rica, we welcome you to Canopy Station. Designed in partnership with Costa Rica's renowned architects, Victor and Andres Cañas, this entirely unique, one-of-a-kind property spans 900 square meters sloped against a tropical forest, equipped with dazzling amenities, six guest bedrooms, and four standalone villas. Built specifically for entrepreneurs, creatives, and remote workers, the communal area plays a pivotal role in connecting like-minded people in a beautiful surrounding to facilitate bonds that cannot be formed anywhere else. The living room and open kitchen allows guests 
to rejuvenate indoors while still absorbing natural sunlight and nature surroundings. The kitchen provides a common space to congregate, grab your next cup from the coffee station and discuss the day's activities or watch content on the big screen. The entire roof is engulfed in a gorgeous hanging garden from the ground floor, gliding up four stories into the sky. There are four guest rooms inside the main structure, each one bedroom, one bathroom, all with stunning views of the forest canopy, ocean and islands in the distance. Sleep in the sky or choose to bunk underground in our exclusive dugout villas, stepping out into the gorgeous courtyard for sunset. These villas are cozy and well insulated by the air. Stand out in the crowd and host your clients for an experience they will never forget in our executive meeting room, completely encased in glass, overlooking the pool and out over the ocean. Hit record on your very own podcast and recording studio. Stocked with state-of-the-art recording equipment, completely sound treated with backdrops totally unique to any podcast out there. Soothe your muscles after hitting the open-air gym in our recovery area, equipped with a sauna and temp-controlled ice bath. Catch stunning sunset views of the coastline with jacuzzi jets massaging your back from the rooftop hot tub, or enjoy a drink around the stone fire with your friends. Boom. I hope that you absolutely love that as much as I do because I get so freaking excited seeing that. Uh, it's been a long time coming and it's uh, it's re it's really awesome to see a vision that we've had sort of really start coming into coming to fruition uh, and actually coming to grasp with how it's going to look and you know having material that we can start to show um you know not just investors but family friends and actually start getting this out to the world so uh, you guys will be the first people to see that by the way that video and that link is completely private um i will start getting that out uh hopefully this week uh and this weekend uh and once that goes out i encourage you guys to share the shit out of that let's push it and push it hard TikTok, Instagram, you know, your website, send it to your family and friends, your, your group chats that you're in, Twitters, I don't care, anywhere and everywhere, push it out there uh, and let people know how excited you are about something like this that he, that he's going to be coming to, not just Costa Rica, not just Thailand, not just Nashville, but over a hundred locations. And that's, that's what's so exciting is this is literally step number one, okay? We have so much to go and so much coming in the pipeline it's it's incredible and that's what i and that's what i, I sort of want to get to a little bit here is you know from that let's get into a bit of real talk now um we we had meetings uh to even just today uh, actually with our architects in costa rica uh, about the costings we're trying to find different ways of, of bringing the cost down uh because you know building something like that as you can imagine is uh is definitely a stretch of budget uh so we're we're trying to refine and get creative about doing different types of things um especially with the with the certain amenities that we have you know we've got custom made inbuilt ice baths and saunas and all sorts of just crazy things going on so we're trying to get creative and, and find different ways about doing things um martin has sent away a bunch of paperwork for his permanent residency status uh, permanent residency um visa that he's sort of uh trying to trying to get down um for to be able to to get that uh longer mortgage 
Thailand. Uh, as you guys know from last call, we've hired attorneys, um, an attorney's office. Uh, we've got legal proceedings that that are sorry. There's there's legals that are proceeding. That sounds terrible. Legal proceedings. Legals are moving forward <laughs> with the sale of this property in Copenhagen. Um, so we are still in the midst of that. Uh, we don't really have too many updates at the moment. Um, or we'll be honest, we are kind of dragging our feet a little bit on this one uh, just because we're waiting to get some 100% uh, confirmation through some pitches um, that we're, we have lined up over the next 7 to 14 days. So we're kind of dragging our feet a little bit with that one uh, because once we sign on the dotted line and 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 push that button you know it's we we have essentially six months from that day uh to come up with uh, about one and a half million dollars so for every day that we can sort of drag this out a little bit uh it's it's giving us a day on the back end so that's exactly what we're doing um but trying to you know find that you know find walk that fine line i guess uh some updates Copen, uh, sorry, Kosam, Kosamui or Kosamoy. The property there uh, that we put an offer in actually has uh, basically the sellers come back to us and and to they gave us a counter, but the counter was so close to what we had that it's essentially an acceptance. So we are also in the exact same situation with that one, where we're actually trying to drag our feet quite a quite a bit with that one um, because. Once we accept that, we would essentially then have two properties in Thailand set to close, um, you know, over the next over the next twelve months, which is bonkers to me, knowing that we went in there chasing one property and we potentially have two properties now uh, in Thailand, both of which are a multi million dollar properties and builds that are, and are just going to be outstanding developments. So, keep you guys updated on that. Uh, but we are purposely dragging our feet on both of those for the moment. Uh, just because once we pull that trigger, there's no turning back and and we want to push this out as much as we can so that we can, you know, organize ourselves as much as possible. Nashville, still nothing. Uh, the market there is is so dry. Uh, it's ridiculous. There is nothing new that's come on the market that I've seen even in the last month and a half. It's ridiculous. I was calling our agents um, just the other day, uh, Jacob, and he's like, yeah, absolutely nothing. I've been going on. I've been searching MLSs. I've been searching LoopNet, et cetera, and there's, there's nothing. Um, so, you know, we'll have to see how Nashville goes. Uh, but so, so far there is nothing new that is coming up for us. Uh, you know, if we need to do a different city first, other than Nashville, that is absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Uh, but that's just where we're at on Nashville. Achievements over the last seven days, uh, moving forward with the Copenhagen property is a massive one. We are getting investor pitches lined up. Um, this here, I don't want to sort of reveal too much right now, um, just because it's. Uh, I'm I'm actually not sure how open I can be with the people that are involved, um, but I will soon, um, and and you'll understand why uh, in a phenomenal way. But you'll understand why. Um, but you know, multiple investor meetings that are being lined up right now, and ideally, we want to spend um, you know all of all of these next couple of weeks just really pumping super hard on that. Uh, so you can actually see, oh no, sorry, that's over the last seven days, over the last seven days. Um, post Rica decks with waterfall provisions, financials, designs, terms and conditions, pitch decks with graphic designers, everything. They have been essentially complete. Uh, the first parts of those decks have already been sent through um, and uh, even starting to get put in the hands of potential investors um, over the coming couple of weeks. Uh, so we're about 90% finished or we're about 98, 99% finished the, the Costa Rica deck. We're about 90% complete the Nova house umbrella brand deck. Uh, that's the big one. And, uh, yet yeah, we're working, as I said, with, with graphic designers, me and Martin are going hard at it. We're working with a bunch of different people to, to really get these through and make sure that they're as professional and, uh, airtight and informative as possible. Uh, we got that three-year walkthrough complete, which is, I think is a, a massive achievement. That's that's a long time coming. That video, uh, and incredible work by some incredible people. Uh, and I sort of went over the voice artists, graphic designers. I went over Costa Rica's costings meeting. The week ahead, uh, we will be releasing episode number three of the podcast, uh, and then also recording episode number four of the podcast. 
I personally am going to a four-day conference starting tomorrow. Uh, it is between 15 and 20 hours per day for four days. Uh, it is a Tony Robbins uh, business conference. So I will pretty much be completely uh, unavailable for the next four days. Uh, but when, when we when I get back from that, it, I'm I'm sure it is going to light a fire under the Nova House company and we're going to go to that next level. And that's what I'm so excited about uh, is, is really seeing what I can take from this conference and just absolutely, you know, pump into into the Nova House and see where we can really take this um, and, and, and what we can implement. Uh, on top of that, uh, I'm currently building out a full fundraising CRM. Um, anyone who's done any sort of sales or, or CRM work knows how much work goes into that. So that's one of my tasks for this week, so that we can keep organised and keep you know on on the offence uh, for the for the fundraising outreach. Obviously, outreach is another one. We we want to start outreaching to people. I need to touch base with all of our current investors um, to for their first rudder of refusal to see if they want to. Um, uh, take any uh, take any investment before this goes actually and and actually gets given to to any other uh, you know larger institutional investors out there, which is an incredible opportunity by the way to to have a retail investor, you know oh sorry to be a retail investor and and essentially be able to front run institutions um, just because you got in something uh, you know in the early days is so incredible it's like a it's like a cheat code. Um, it's like, it's like insider trading. It's so crazy. It's like, oh, there's a, there's a fun, there's, you know, there's a fundraise coming up. We've got first rider refusal to, to each, each stage, you know, we, we're going to put in, you know, 250 K, 300 K, whatever it is. And then the institutions come in and, and then they take their, you know, put, put their investment in. It's, it's insane. It's so insane. Um, and I, abs I'm absolutely, I, I, I love that we can, we can, give that opportunity to our investors, um, our, especially our, our retail investors and allow them to, to, to take such a, a big piece of the pie so early on, um, and, you know, ride the coattails of this thing to, to where it goes. It's, it's very exciting and it's a very gratifying feeling for sure. Uh, I want to, I say, I, we want to begin research and outreach to, uh, our Australia property. I'm thinking with Sunday's early beach where the great barrier reef is. Uh, so as of Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, next week, I want to, on top of everything else, I want to start making some calls and start, you know, setting up, um, you know, putting some, putting some hooks in the water or so, wait, what is it? Putting some lines in the water or some bait in the water, whatever it is. Um, fishing reference. I don't fish. I don't know why it's starting going down fishing references. I want to put some lines in the water to start seeing and putting, put some interest out there and start getting our team organized there. I am trying to organize a trip up to Airlie Beach end of October, start of November uh, to actually really go hard on on that place for about a, a week or two. Uh, but I want to want to get things, get the ball rolling there slowly this week. Uh, we also want to release and promote this 3D walkthrough video that you just watched. That is going to be a huge hit. And I'm so excited to get that out and just start funneling that through all of the socials and and getting people amped about it because it's so exciting and it, and it just is so awesome it's something that's just never been done and it's it's a pretty awesome feeling that myself martin and, and everyone on the on the team um who, who's you know trusted in us and and believed in us so far is all part of that uh it's it's incredible uh other than that I, I'd love to book in some investor calls. Uh, I'd love to book in some 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 chats with some people who are interested in getting involved. Uh, so we might see if we can get that done this week as well. Human being of the week is Samurai Chewy. Uh, I I got hacked this morning and he messaged me immediately, got on a voice call immediately. He's a member at Alpha Traders and he spent uh, probably over an hour this morning with me on a call, helping me with everything. He's like, do this. You need to shut down this. You need to restore this. You need to back up this, grab this link. And then you go to here. And then you, and he was a wizard. Uh, he was a guy who it was probably late at night for him. I don't know exactly what time it was, but it didn't matter what he was doing. It didn't matter how, what was going on in his life. He just dropped everything and he was there. Um, and, and it was just, it was as if he himself was was in the in the war zone that I was in. Um, you know, he was very compassionate the whole time. He was very understanding, and he was very calm and kept me calm through the whole time as I was watching people just take over all of my shit, um, which was a, a pretty 
it's like being on a glass room where you can see everything that's going on, but you can't do anything. And it was it's horrible. It really is horrible. And and he was there just, you know, we've never met. I don't know who he is. He doesn't know who I am. We've never shake we've never shook hands. Um, yet we spent an hour and a half this morning uh as you know, internet friends who, you know, he was helping me get through that. And with all of his knowledge that, that he has, he's an incredibly, incredibly smart guy. Um, and someone that blows my mind every time I talk to him. So Chewy, uh, Samurai Chewy is his Discord name, by the way. His name's not actually Samurai. Um, but uh, if, if you are watching this by chance, I, I deeply, deeply appreciate you. And, and uh, I have a lot of, lot of respect for, for the way that you acted today um, and, and the human being that you were for me um, in a time where I probably needed a little bit because that's, you know, tech is, funnily enough, as someone who runs the whole life of tech, tech's not my strong point. And uh, you didn't make me feel like an idiot for that. You were just there to help and, and do your best to recover everything that you could. So I appreciate you a lot. If anyone knows of anybody who would fit these roles, we are actively looking to hire and on board. We're about to go through a fundraise, uh, and that will include uh, basically fundraising to build out our team. It's going to be critical, and when we onboard, we are going to have to onboard hard and fast. We're looking for two positions right now. First one is a project manager. This is the big one. This person will basically join myself and Martin in doing everything that we do, okay? They will be researching locations. They will be making calls. They'll be setting appointments, meetings. They will be doing due diligence on properties. They will be making contacts on the ground in different locations. They'll be finding architects, interviewing them. They'll be finding agents. They'll be scouring through listings. They'll be creating budgets and spreadsheets, underwriting contracts. So much stuff. And it's so freaking exciting. It gets me pumped up just thinking about all of the things that are on my to-do list each day. Um, so we're looking for someone who is passionate, enthusiasm, and is just relentless in their execution style. That is the number one thing there. And this can be, this can be taught. It can be taught. You do not need skills for anything, uh, but what you do need is you do need a, an unwavering drive and, and hunger, and that's what we're looking for. So if you or somebody that you know fits that description, uh, please reach out to us. Uh, you can get in contact with us at thenovahouse.com. You can email me, tyler at thenovahouse.com. Again, that is tyler, T-Y-L-E-R, at thenovahouse, T-H-E-N-O-V-A-H-A-U-S.com. Uh, or hit us up on any of our socials. Uh, I'd love to, to get on a call and, and we can start you know, the, the, the process there. The second one is a social media manager slash content creator. We are looking for someone who has a lot of a lot of wit. They're funny. They've got some intuition and speed. We want speed. I do not want someone who is like, oh, I should make a video. And then it takes them seven weeks to even write the script for a video. We are looking for somebody who thinks to themselves, oh, we should we could make a video about, and then within 10 minutes, they've already started building this video and it's already sort of happening and you know the video is out within 30 minutes that's what we're looking for we need speed we need some humor um and we need a drive and we need we need drive from that person so uh florian is is overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that he has going on uploading content creating the content he's actually in the content now as well there's all sorts going on so we, we really need to start spreading that workload um but we need to spread that workload whilst increasing the effect and and how good that that the, the quality of the work is so we'd love to bring someone on there um again it's i'm not looking for a resume i will not read your resume do not send me your resume it will not get read it's a waste of your time i am looking for a human being that has the qualities uh, of the person that is required to fulfill these duties and a person that uh will go above and beyond to to excel at this and is going to grow into something that you know we could never even fathom because that's what we want we want to bring on highly capable individuals and give them all of the fuel that they need and the services and anything any anything and everything that they need to just absolutely go wild themselves and, and be better than they ever imagined so um you know the better that we can build our team the better that our team builds our company the better that our company is built the better people that we can hire 
the better people we can hire, the more services we can give them, the better they become, the better our business becomes. It's a beautiful, beautiful hamster wheel. Uh, I've got a little timer here and I have 15 seconds left on the clock. So I want you guys to be great. Have a fantastic week ahead. Uh, do something kind for somebody else this week and uh, keep sharing the Nova House. Let's get some engagement going on the socials and I'll see you guys next week.